What's up guys, it's Friday and that means it's top 5 time. Today we're taking a look at the top 5 free to play PC games for all you cheap bastards out there. Because let's face it, everyone likes video games, but no one really likes spending money. So let's get into it. Five. Number 5 on my list is Smite. Now I just started getting into this game and I've gotta say I'm having a lot of fun with it. At first I was skeptical about a 3D MOBA, I thought it would be boring or the combat would suck or it just wouldn't work. But after playing a few games, Smite completely changed my mind. The combat is actually extremely fun, intense and frequent and I really like the way you can see enemies outlines through walls if one of your allies or your creeps have vision of them. It's like Left 4 Dead meets Dota. Smite was definitely a pleasant surprise, and with a price tag of zero dollars, it's definitely worth checking out. Four. Number four on my list is Blacklight Retribution. I started playing this game back when it was in beta and had a great time with it. The amount of weapon customization you can do in this game is sick. The only downside is you have to keep repurchasing weapons with in-game points because they expire after a while. But I can't complain too much because the alternative to this would be having to purchase weapons with real money, which I wouldn't want to do. In addition to purchasing starting weapons, you can also purchase special weapons during matches by racking up kills. I recommend the flamethrower, or if you've been on a killing spree, call down a hard suit and just mow down everyone in a 5 mile radius. Three. Moving on we have Team Fortress 2. It's hard to believe Valve is just giving this one away, but there you go. It was one of the most addictive class based shooters in history, even before they added hats, and it's still going strong. You can easily find a server, hop in, and chain gun your enemies to death as a heavy, but please, check your team composition first. If there's five heavies and a pyro out there, pick a medic for God's sake. Anyway, the characters all have distinct personalities that add to the game's charm, and the cartoony art style is a welcome break from the ultra-realistic shooters like COD or Battlefield. And if you ever get sick of these standard game modes, you can always switch it up and play some man vs. machine. This one is kind of an all-around win, and there's no reason you shouldn't be playing it. Two. Number two on the list is GoldenEye Source. Man, this game is a ton of fun. If you're old enough to remember GoldenEye 64, then you will be happy to learn there's a free Half-Life mod on Steam that recreates the game almost flawlessly. Odd job isn't super short in this one, but aside from that, the game is near perfect. You can go back to the facility and booby trap the body armor with proximity mines. You can play rockets on the facility and try really hard not to blow yourself up. And you can now play Gun Game, which is extremely fun as you work your way from a golden gun down to just your slapper. I play a lot of this one with the guys at the office and James Bond has definitely got a license to kill. Your productivity for the whole day. One. And number one on the list, if you haven't guessed it by the shirt I'm wearing, is Dota 2. Yes, I know Sohinky is the Dota obsessed one, but it's with good reason. The game is super addictive, and yes, it crushes lull into the dust. The learning curve is steep, but once you get to know a few characters and start ganking your enemies, Dota 2 becomes super rewarding. After a couple of days of playing, you'll be hooked and have trouble walking away from the game. The graphics are great, the characters are all unique and well designed, plus you can get custom gear for them to pimp them out, which just adds an extra layer of fun. And when you work together and team wipe your opponents so hard that you take down two of their towers before they respawn, man it's a good feeling. Dota 2 is still in beta but Valve will be releasing it for free so keep an eye out or ask your friends who play the beta if they have any spare invites. This game is going to be great and almost makes me forgive the long cold wait for Half-Life 3. Almost. But not quite. Do you hear me Gabe? We know you have it! Anyway, that's my list. Be sure and let us know what free to play games are your favorites in the comments below. I love free to plays and you can never really have too many of them cause, well they're free. So if you make some suggestions, I'll get to downloading. Anyway, that's all for this Friday's top five. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.